Let's go. Yeah. And like I said, so coming into the night, you know, we got we got round six of the AMA Supercross. Last weekend, Shane Macaroni lost the red background. But today, there's a new man in the game. His name is Jay Hill. Jay Hill is flying, guys. He is, has this unbelievable speed that we cannot even measure. You know, this is the new Eli Tomac in the making, the new Dungey. He is coming from the ground up. The boy is fast, furious, and he's very serious. Too serious. I, you know, I don't even know what to make of this, but, you know, Ain't like I said, I thought it was going to be a new player in the game, that 2-4. You know, that 2-4. That 2-4 been kind of riding on the edge, so his yes. rookie mistakes has been getting the best of him. Yes. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, like I say, uh, you know, if Scrub Daddy shaved, he might come out of retirement. You know what I'm saying? Right now, they got me on the couch. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So, I'm here at Glen Helen for the Trans Am uh, race today. And it, hold on one second. One second. Hold on. Hold on. It is raining as of right now. The track is demolished. Like, it is bad right now. But we still out here, though. So, I, it's me. Hold on. Got rain on the camera. Oh, got fall right there. <laughs> So, so it's so I, you got me announcing. You got Big Gizor. This 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 is the main announcer today. He hey, showed me the road. Scrub Daddy. Yeah, we got Elon. You got Ethan back there. Uh, Ethan. That's Ethan Trump. Ethan, Donald Trump's Ethan. son. No. So so we here we here today, man. We have some fun. You know you know how it go, man. So shout out to everybody who came out. It's gonna be a crazy mud race. And uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for some more action. Yeah, some more. All right, so we're back here live, man. We have a nice, nice and fast beat right here. What's your name again, man? Dylan Gasby. Yeah, Dylan Gasby here. So, Dylan, the track conditions are pretty crazy, man. What are your tips for the other riders out there to win? This it? is oh, a yeah. tricky beat. Just production. hopefully get a good grab and lean back. Don't lean let the front sink in because when she sinks in, you're done. Yeah, it's you're really up. super. And out then, there. wait, and then I heard this way back when I was coming up. They say you gotta stay on the back fender. And we got Pops here as well. So Pops, what is your tips for today, man? What What is your tips for riding the slushy uh, track today? Just go fast. Uh, you know, don't be dawdling because you're gonna go down. That's for sure. It's soup central out there. Soup central out oh, there. Yeah. So yeah, you heard here first, man. So make sure you guys take tips because it is very, <laughs> very slushy today. And we'll be back soon with some it more. Getting better. He's not getting better. <laughs> Remember 50 years when I was a little kid. That, yeah, that sounds like a long time, but uh, <laughs> it feels to me like it was just yesterday. <laughs> 50 years, that's it? Yeah. I'm not. I'm getting hard time. Uh, you know what to do. Put your head down, lean back, and gun it. You know, I used to race too, and I got a lot of scrub daddy tips for you. So if you guys want me to tip, come see me. My tips are free. <laughs> I just want to say something, man. This is so much fun just to go there. Yeah. The white flag is out, and 111 Tyler is still out front with the tear off, looking swag out there. You got the 96 coming up next. These guys have some incredible talent, man. You guys have some really good style. I cannot wait to see what they become in the next coming future, man. I know I do like watching kids as they grow, and then when they get on the big bikes, yeah. it's like, yeah. Yeah. And it's really weird, it's like, you know, some of them go on big bikes, you're like, yeah, you know, you're, you're good, but then some of them, it's just like, holy they God, they get upset. Or yeah, they go backwards, it's just so weird, man. It's fun, though. The 48 of Dylan not giving up, man. He is definitely gaining some ground. Keep pushing it, buddy. You got one more lap. You got one more lap, man, until you got some heart on you, man. Keep going. He drew a tear up off the little Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he good. Dang, he's still wiping. <laughs> this is what we call the real thing. Number 47, Joe, looking really good out there, man. Man, Geico, Amazon, Amazon Honda. You want me to everything out there. Number 47, Joe, looking really good out there. 
There are 60 semicolons with Spike on the finish line. One of them left with Spike on the finish line. Oh, we have a battle right here. Second, but he's always up there. You know, uh, of course, Toe Man coming in with confidence, and we all know motocross is like 70% mental, man. When you know you can beat those guys, you're already beating up, showing them up to the gate. So, uh, that's going to be a tough call. So, it should be a fun one to watch tonight, for sure. And I definitely want to keep this in mind. Uh, you know, the 250 class is really shaping up to be a great one. You know, with uh, Macarat losing that red background, you know, that's going to kind of bother him a little. So I'm pretty sure tonight he's going to ride a little over his head like he came into Anaheim 1. So tonight, look for the KTM to be on top of the box as well. Vegas. So he's got to be up there going into Vegas. So Miguel Ruth isn't just want to make a point, not only is he wanting to make a point, but he wants to be like, hey, I can make as many points ahead before we go to Vegas because it's close, man, it's close. Yeah, and you know, like with, uh, with Justin Hill, he's riding really good and, uh, you know, he's going to be pumped as well because, uh, you know, with him having that red background and he got his brother cheering him on, he has his mom cheering him on, he's, he's like, right now he's pumped. You know, it's going to be hard to stop him, so you're right. Shane is going to have to be on his A game tonight. Blake Coleman making a mistake. Getting stuck in the mud, it looks like back there. Not a good line choice. You got to pick a better line next time, but... Uh... Oh, Ryder's stuck. Oh, Ryder's getting stuck left and right. Tell me, line choice, consistency. This is one of those motos, man. You don't have to be the fastest every lap. You gotta be consistent with 319 and Dylan Bennett doing a little hand off, looking at us like, dude, this mud, they got me. He's looking me. But uh, Brandon Sussman looking solid. I'm telling you guys, Taco Moon was absolutely flying out there. He is hugging every single thing, scrubbing every single thing, but he is not giving away that easy. Here he comes. Absolutely on the gas, the 777 on his tail. Can you hang on to it? He has a lot of fast guys behind him. Everyone's railing, hugging every single thing out there. This is incredible to watch. A sight to see. Here we go. Over the 60 triple yank. That is awesome to watch, man. These guys are going, oh, running high on that one. You got Spectral Oils, Alpine Star, you got all kinds, you got Style and Oaks. So uh, head on down there, in between your motos, get yourself hooked up. Maybe you can have a good level, maybe you need to pick me up, go grab yourself some pair of goggles or a new helmet. Maybe you did good, you deserve a new helmet for doing good, or new goggles, or you know, new jacket. Go down there and grab yourself a new jacket. So uh, that's what they're out here. Yeah.